Making and viewing model changes in Risa 3D is simple with the addition of the Properties panel as well as advanced selection tools. So we go ahead and turn off the rendering and then rotate around the structure to the brace frames here. I'm going to go ahead and select both brace frames. So I'm just going to go and do a highlight select uh, of both members using the control key. And then when we select these, we can see that the properties panel becomes available uh, showing all four selected hot rolled members. So this allows us to easily make changes to all selected members. We then can make changes to the general properties, but in this case, let's go ahead and open up the additional properties and instead of uh, allowing these to be both ways, make them tension only members. Additionally, we can change the releases simply by clicking on the button here and changing both the I and J release codes to pinned. Finally, if we want to go ahead and add connections, we can do that as well in the properties panel. We can just select start connection and choose our diagonal brace and then do the same thing for our end connection. Now these changes can easily be viewable by selecting the appropriate drop down from the quick view. So if I choose the drop down for connection rules, we can see the connection rules that have been added to those two brace frames. Now let's go ahead and get a YZ view here and we can look at making changes to uh, say a few different uh, support conditions at the same time. So in this case, we selected a few different members. I can go ahead and actually select the members that I want to change. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and just make sure I select those nodes at the bottom. And we can see the boundary conditions that are already available. If I want to change those from fixed to pin boundary conditions, I can simply select the boundary conditions drop down from the home tab and choose pinned. Then I can choose apply to selected to change those from fixed to pinned boundary conditions. It's also possible to easily change the properties and magnitude of loads. So if I go ahead and enable a load here, I'm gonna go switch our load to our roof live load. And in this case, I have some member area loads that I wanna apply. So in this case, we can see uh, both the magnitude of the loads and also the direction. So in this case, the direction of the middle load here is incorrect, I wanna switch that. So I can go ahead and click on the load and choose to change the load direction. I can also use control and select all three loads to change their magnitude all at once. So we'll change it from 20 pounds per square foot to maybe say 30 pounds a square foot. It's also possible to easily switch these loads to another basic load case if required. So I could just go ahead and switch my BLC from roof live load to dead load if I was needed. Finally, let's go make changes to one of our wall panels. So if I wanted to make a change to a specific wall panel, but I wasn't sure exactly where it was located, I could use the quick find and in the quick find search for my wall panel. So I'm going to search in this case WP seven and click OK. And so we can see that it's automatically been highlighted for us. Now with this highlighted, we can go ahead and double click to open up the new wall panel editor. Now if this, in this case, if I want to add some doors to the leftmost side of the wall, I can go ahead and use the delete button to delete necessary elements in the wall panel. I can also delete all wall regions. And then under modify, add new openings. So I'm going to go ahead and add in Let's say a door opening here. And then maybe we'll add in a second door opening as well. Now when I'm ready, I can go ahead and regenerate automatically the wall panels and the regions. And then I can exit out of the wall panel editor. For more information about Risa 3D, visit Risa.com.